All right, welcome back, guys. And um, this one's this lesson's called using patterns to solve problems. So I'm going to give you some problems because life is full of problems, and life would be very exciting if we didn't have problems. You know, sometimes problems aren't fun, but otherwise our life would be boring. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent here. Uh, if I had you know this you know this house numbers here, what are the missing address numbers, and how do you know what is going on? All right, let's say Luke charges $6 for each hour that he babysits. How much does Luke earn when he works two hours or three hours or four hours or five hours? Could we show our results in a table? Okay. So for example, he works one hour, he's gonna make $6. If he worked two hours, he should make $12, three hours. 18. Is there any patterns that are going on that you can see that might help someone like Luke find out how much does five hours, how much would he make? All right, let's say that a puzzle book costs $17, very expensive puzzle book, but maybe it's just got fancy photos and glossy, glossy pages, I don't know. But how much does it cost to buy two books or three books or four books? So we're going to make up a table here. And when you add one to the number of books, you add 17 to the cost. So if you notice that in one column here, the number of books, it's going up by one each time. And if you, we can relate that, that it's going up $17 each time we add a book. Okay. Well, two books cost $34, three books cost $51, four books cost $68. Okay. Well, we can use this pattern to predict the cost of 20 books. And so a pattern rule that we could say is if we start at 17, remember it's about the cost of tw you know 20 books, we could start at this, this 17 here and we can add 17 each time. Or we could say the number of books multiplied by 17. So the number of books times 17, times 17, times 17, times 17. Now, I don't know how you are with your 17 times tables, but it is acceptable in this lesson to get a calculator. Um, so to predict the, the cost of 20 books, we can multiply 20 times 17. And the answer is 340. So 20 books cost $340. Now suppose you had $200. Can you can you buy puzzle books and have no money left over? So we could extend this pattern to see if 200 is a term, okay? Um, so will they quite basically in other words, will $200 show up in this column? Okay? Can we exactly pay $200 and if we can, how many books is that? So we could add add and add and if you don't know how to do that, you can take, you know, 17 and um, we're gonna add 17, so that's two. And we add 17 again, that's three books, four books, five books. Now, that pattern rule, you know, start at 17, add 17 each time, might take a little bit longer, okay? Um, but we could, we could get somewhere where, let's say, uh, 17 times six, we can just guess. It's 102, we're a little bit, we're a little bit short, okay? 17 times 12, 204. So 12 bucks is 204, we can't exactly get 200 there. Um, so how about 17 times 11? 11 bucks, 187. Uh, we can't get exactly $200, okay? So if you really had $200 to spend on on puzzle books, you'd probably have to only get 11 books. Okay, so let's count terms in the pattern. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, 11 books would get you $187. You have $13 left over to buy some candy or something. All right, I'm gonna get you to try one here. I have two questions in this one. Let's say, suppose you have to buy cookies. A dozen cookies, or 12 cookies, costs $11. How many cookies can you buy with $45, okay, with $45? Um, looking at the table here, which we got, we got number of dozen cookies and the cost, okay? And if we look at this, there's a pattern rule, you know, number of dozen cookies. So we start at one, add one each time. Here we're starting at 11. $11 actually, and we're adding 11 each time. 
Um, for, we have $45 to spend. This guy here, $44, he's pretty darn close. I don't think we can spend 45 exactly, so we could say we can buy four dozen cookies. We oops, can buy four dozen cookies. Period. Okay, now the next question. Let's say we extend the pattern. How many dozens of cookies can $60 buy? Okay, so remember the pattern rule for the cost was start at 11. $11 at $11 each time. Or we could say the number of dozens of cookies times 11. We could say that too, okay? Um, so... So that's option one, option two, um, number of dozen cookies. I don't have my pen there. Uh, multiplied by $11. I think that is an easier pattern rule to deal with here. So um, I can take my calculator. Let's say, well, I know five times 11, that's five dozen cookies of 55. I'm going for 60. If I do 11, sorry, six dozen cookies times $11, that's 66. That's too much money. Uh, I can only, I can't buy 66 worth, worth of cookies if I only have $60. So I'm gonna have to say we can only buy up to five dozen cookies. We can't buy that six uh, dozen cookies because that's $66. So you can see here that we can use tables and in, in looking for patterns to solve word problems. And, you know, we have problems in life and sometimes these tables can, can help you out. So please remember guys, in life, math happens. Take care.